Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper, and a while back I did a video that showed how to clean and lubricate a Swiss Army knife. And one question that just kept coming up over and over and over again in the comment section was, can I use this type of oil? Can I use that type of oil? And in the video, I had mentioned that I like to use food grade mineral oil as a lubricant on my Swiss Army knives. And also I use it on the joints of other folders as well as to coat the blades on carbon steel knives, such as that BK-16 there. Okay, so this video will kind of go over why I chose mineral oil over other types of oil that you can use. Now, the first good thing about mineral oil is that it is food safe. This is actually found in the, um, the laxative aisle and the kind of digestive health aisle of like Walmart, local pharmacies, things like that. And it's only like a dollar 88 cents. So it's, it's really, really cheap. And I know what some of you are thinking, why in the world would I put a laxative on a knife? Because, I mean, really the last thing that you want is to get out into the woods and then have the horrific trots while you're trying to hunt or camp. And I get that. But the amount of this stuff that your body will come into contact with, especially if you just use it to lubricate joints on a knife, is going to be next to nothing. If you're using it to coat a blade, just wipe the blade down first. And it's going to be safer than pretty much any other type of oil that that I'm aware of um, and the uh, the minimum dose for an adult of this stuff is 15 milliliters and it goes all the way up to 45 milliliters a day for adults so the amount of like trace mineral oil that you would ingest from you know using a knife that had come in contact with, especially if you wipe it down, I mean, it's going to be next to nothing. So you're not going to be getting Montezuma's Revenge or feeling like it when you're out there camping or after you use the knife, whatever the case may be. Um, and I mentioned that this is, that this is incredibly cheap stuff. Like this bottle, I just bought it today. It cost me a dollar and 88 cents. And really, I didn't even need to buy this. I bought this so that I could have something that says mineral oil on the front of the bottle for this video. What I've actually been using for the past 10 years is this mineral oil here. And it wasn't a bottle like that, but the bottle got messed up somehow, something like that. So I just transferred it to this old baby food jar. And I have been using this same jar since, good grief, I think around 2010. So this stuff just lasts forever. I haven't used hardly any of it. And I've used it on several Swiss Army knives. I've used it to protect blades, things like that. A little dabble do you. And I'm telling you, I'll probably be using this for, I mean, years to come. There's a good chance that when I eventually keel over, my son and any other future kids that I have are going to find this same bottle right here in my medicine cabinet. Okay? So it's cheap. You don't need a whole lot of it. Uh, it doesn't expire, okay? Things like uh, like this olive oil here, okay? Over time, it'll become rancid so that, you know, if you coated your blade with that and it comes in and your food comes in contact with that, you could actually get sick if this uh, like vegetable oil or olive oil has gone rancid. And also after a while, vegetable oils can um, polymerize so that any surface that you put that on will become sticky. Now, if you're using uh, vegetable oil or something like that on a knife that you use regularly, then you're not going to have any problems because it's not going to have an opportunity to go rancid or to polymerize. It's not going to be on there long enough to do those things. So, if it is like your primary knife that you're using, and especially if it's something like um, like a fixed blade where you can just wipe the blade down after every use. You don't have to worry about stuff getting, you know, kind of seeping down in nooks and crannies like you do on a folder. Then, yeah, olive oil, vegetable oil, things like that are an awesome choice. Okay, but for things that, you know, maybe you have a, a pocket knife or something like that that you want oil and then you want to put in a drawer for a while... This mineral oil is a far better choice because it's not going to get sticky. It's not going to get rancid or anything like that. It's, I mean, it's stable. It stays good basically forever. And also, it is a very, very good, um, I guess the word's viscosity. I'm not, a, I'm not really a, an awesome science person or anything like that. But it's the right 
thickness of oil that you want. Um, it's not so sticky that it's going to gum up small moving parts, okay? It's still going to move pretty easy, but it's also not so runny that, um, that it's going to seep out into your pocket. Stuff like this penetrating oil, this is very, very thin stuff. It's actually a lot like, uh, if you have any, if, if you've been like in band or anything like that and you play trumpet um, or any, any instrument that has valves, this is very, very similar to that stuff. Very, very thin and it'll, it'll get runny and leak out on you, especially since your pockets, I mean, it's a warm area. It's right next to your body. That oil is gonna heat up and get thinner and just go everywhere and make a mess. Um, also, this stuff, it's, um, since it's the right consistency, it's very easy to apply. I'm not going to open this new bottle. I'm just not, because I don't, I kind of want to keep the seal. Not that I think it's going to mess up anything, but I got this here. So, I mean, you can just take a Q-tip. And honestly, this is too much for what I'm doing, this, this drop. But just drop it down in there. Okay, I'll go ahead and, since I got a full drop, Put that down in there and it'll go down into the joints moving back and forth and that'll last for a long time if you're trying to lubricate and protect a larger blade then this will protect against rust okay just put a little bit on a rag wipe it down And then use the other side to wipe off any excess. And this works out because I just used this to cut up some cheese and summer sausage and I kind of needed to wipe it down again. So this was a good time to do that video. And you're good to go. It's not going to make a huge mess like some sprays. Like I know a lot of people, they think that WD-40 is the holiest of all lubricants and stuff. But really, I mean, it's a water displacer. It does a good job for stuff you don't want water to get down into. And also, like, if you had a knife that was really, really just gummed up and, um, you know, it was just stuck, the joints would move, yeah, then WD-40 might, might be a good choice. But it's not food safe. It smells. It gets everywhere. So this can do a lot better job for just normal daily maintenance and just keeping things moving the way they should. If things are stuck and they're not moving at all, then yes, use WD-40, PB Blaster, stuff like that. Um, but in just regular everyday life, you're going to have to spend way more time wiping this thing down and getting rid of the excess WD-40 than if you're just to use a Q-tip and then, you know, put exactly where you need it. Another good thing about Q-tips, and it works far better on, um, on Q-tips that um, that have like a wooden or, well, not wooden, but kind of a, uh, a cardboard stem. But you can actually, for like really, really tight joints and stuff like that, you can chop the end of it off and then use that as an applicator. And if that's too fat, squish it down with some pliers first. Okay, then you can get basically anywhere that you would need to go. All right, so I hope this was helpful. And like I said, I mean, that's just what I do. And that's why I do it. There's no like 100% right way to, I guess, lubricate a knife. There's no way that is like the bestest ever, so to speak. But that's what I do. And it's worked pretty well for me so far. I do not have any of my Swiss Army knives that I have used mineral oil with that are gummed up. They all work perfectly fine. My knives that I've coated it on have stayed perfectly fine. That's just a patina. That is not rust, okay? And I kind of wanted that. Uh, if I didn't want a patina, then I would have left the ugly black coating that comes on um, these knives stock. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it was enlightening. If you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.